So we are recording Creative Conversations and it's going to be uh, archived on SCAN's YouTube channel. And after everything is done, I'll send you all of the links and all of the contact information for our guests today, as well as some additional coming attractions. So I just want to direct you to, you know, at the very bottom of your screen, you should all see a chat little icon for chat. And so at all times during uh, the presentation today, please feel free to send us a note, write something in the chat where, where all of your questions, we will be monitoring that and we will do our very best to get to all of your questions today. All right. So thanks for joining us. And let me introduce you to Domenica. Hello, everyone. Welcome and good to see you all again. And some newcomers also I saw on the registration list. That's great. Well, this afternoon's guest is Vinnie Martini. He currently serves as the Arts Education and Events Manager for, for Monmouth Arts, uh, located in Red Bank. In this position, he has directed the Monmouth Teen Arts Fest and the Monmouth County Senior Arts Show, which I think many of you are uh, familiar with. In 2018, he founded Mammoth Arts Emerging Artist Scholarship Program. Dedicated to his community, he sits on boards and steering committees for Red Bank Visitor Center and Arts Ed New Jersey. Vinny is active as a singer and music teacher throughout the state. As an event producer, he is known for his work East Coast USA pageants, a national scholarship competition for young women as well as producing many other high profile events throughout the United States and abroad with his company, Martini Events and Design. <laughs> so Scan and Color Chips welcomes Vinny. Vinny Martini, welcome. Here's Vinny. Hello everyone, it's good to see all of you. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much, Donna and, and Andrea for having me. Um, sure. I think uh, we're in for a really exciting um, conversation, creative conversation around um, the arts community in Monmouth County. Um, something I know very well. I grew up uh, right here in Monmouth County and I'm, um, you know, thrilled to be able to serve the community that, you know, gave so much to me. Uh, Monmouth County is incredibly diverse with tons of different types of artists and art that surrounds us. Um, and um, I, uh, I'm really excited to share a little bit about that with you. Um, so as Donna mentioned, I am the Arts Education and Events Manager for Mammoth Arts. We are a local nonprofit arts agency based in Red Bank. We actually are the official county arts agency of Mammoth County. Um, we provide programs and services that support the practice, presence, and influence of arts and artists throughout Mammoth County. We do this through a number of different ways. Um, one of the big things that we do is we offer um, local arts program grants to local organizations, arts organizations throughout the county. Um, some of those organizations are probably ones that you might know of very well. Um, the New Jersey Chamber Singers are a grantee of ours, the uh, Mammoth Civic Chorus and Mammoth Symphony Orchestra, um, other uh, visual arts organizations like the Guild of Creative Art, um, the Art Alliance of Monmouth County. Um, there's really, yeah, all of them. We really, we really cover everything. Um, we Vinny, cover you know what? I'm going to interrupt you for one quick second yeah. because you know what we're going to do? I think Donna and I are going to uh, become invisible. Okay. And we'll be like behind the curtain, but you'll hear our voices uh, monitoring the chat. And if anybody, if either of us has a question, we'll be like the Wizard of Oz kind of thing. All right. Yeah, so absolutely. we'll put you on spotlight and I will, I'm going to turn off my camera. Sounds good. Okay, it does. <laughs> All right, Donna, you and yeah. I off. I'm going to do it right now. Stop video, right? Yes. Got it. Thank you. There we go. Um, I don't know why so we're still showing. Let me, probably because I'm not sharing my screen yet, but I'll do that now. Okay. No. Let's do that. So, okay. here we are. Yes. Okay. Um, so, um, as I was saying, you know, we, we do a lot. We provide grants. Um, we also run a lot of programs throughout the county, um, some of which I'll talk about in a moment. You're probably familiar with them. Um, but more or less, Mammoth Arts is here to provide any type of connection to the arts for anyone in the community. 
Um, we are a membership organization. We do have a number of members, but becoming a member isn't the only way that you can use Mammoth Arts as a resource. Uh, there's countless ways to do that. Um, here, I'll show you some photos of different programs that we run. Um, so we, we run the Senior Art Show, the Mammoth Arts Teen Arts Festival, which if any of you um, have children or grandchildren who are involved um, in high school artistic endeavors. You'll probably be very familiar with the Teen Arts Festival. Um, we also run a gallery series out of our micro gallery. Um, Donna and her students uh, exhibited with our micro gallery, I think last year. Yes. Um, so but that was uh, 2019. I say 2020 as if I think 2020 is still happening. Um, but, you know, we, uh, we have a gallery series. We also run um, youth enrichment programs in the arts as well. So we, we really do cover it all. Um, as I mentioned before, we're really big on serving our community through funding wherever possible. We do this through the New Jersey State Council on the Arts, which is the state arts agency. Um, they provide grants to organizations uh, statewide. Um, this year, there was over, I believe, $18 million in grant funding that went out. And these are the individuals who will be receiving grants from us this year. So any of these organizations, if you happen to be involved with them, and I'll talk a little bit about how to do that uh, in a little bit, um, these are organizations that are funded from Mammoth Arts. So even though you might be working with Phoenix Productions or the, uh, you know, or Shore Thing Theater, you're still being directly impacted by the work of what we do. So it's really exciting to um, share the resources of Mammoth Arts with our community. Uh, we try in every capacity that we can to reach every corner of the county. Um, so the big thing, uh, there are three major points um, that Mammoth Arts focuses on. The first of which is our individual programs. Um, you will know some of these, like the Senior Art Show, the Teen Arts Festival. Um, there are also programs that are run through partner organizations of Mammoth Arts that are important, um, like the Mammoth Museum Juried Art Show, the County Fair. Um, while these might be programs that aren't directly run by Mammoth Arts, I still want to kind of give you a way to find out how to get involved with these programs. Because Mammoth Arts, as we said, you know, we're countywide, we're overreaching, um, and we want to make sure that, you know, you'll have every possible way to kind of get involved in whatever way you can. Ginny, will you talk a little bit more at a certain point about the Senior Art Show? Because I know a lot of our listeners are probably interested in that. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, the okay. Senior Art Show, I think it's coming up next, actually. Um, okay, good. So I'll, I'll get right into that. But uh, the other aspect that we'll talk about briefly is community organizations. So I'll, I'll talk about all the different organizations that are around the county that are really arts-based. Um, and then of course, education programs, which includes arts classes um, in every discipline for youth and adults. So first I'll break into programs. Like Andrea mentioned, the big program of course is the Senior Art Show. Um, this is a countywide show that happens every single year. Um, previously, SCAN actually used to run the program, yes. but for the last, uh, I think this will be our fifth year running the program now, 2021. Crazy. And you're doing a great job. Thank you so much. Um, I, you know, it was the first, when I first started at Mammoth Arts back in 2017, um, I, you know, the, I, I came in in September, so I just finished with the county arts show, and we were gearing up for the state show, so I, the first program I had to delve into was senior art show. Senior art show. Uh, and, you know, what a program it is. I get to work with, you know, some of the most talented creatives in Monmouth County. Um, it's super exciting. The great thing about this show is that it's open to absolutely everyone. Whether you're a non-professional artist or you're a professional artist, um, you can totally get involved in the show. Um, we accept about 100 artists each year. Um, now that we're in kind of the virtual land, um, for at least probably this year and we were last year. Oh, you think so again this year, Vinny? Um, I, I'm not positive, but okay. I, I have an inkling that will probably tend virtual this year only okay. because the senior art show, you know, we we're dealing with a, a vulnerable population of yes. people. Um, mm -hmm. And our number one priority, of course, and always will be to, you know, keep everyone safe. Um, and so, it's while it's possible we'll have some physical aspect of the show and I'm hoping we will 
um, the show will probably at the very bare minimum be hybrid in that okay. there'll be a physical component and a virtual right. component. Right. Um, so it, the exact way this will work out kind of remains to be seen. I'm still in the planning stages of figuring out what's the best way for us to kind of tackle this. Um, we will continue to follow, you know, guidance from the CDC and the Monmouth County Health Department, as well as the, um, the, those, the New Jersey State Council on the Arts and the Mercer County Office of Cultural and Heritage um, to kind of see where the state show is going. So we're in line mm -hmm. with them. But the plan is, you know, if we can go physical, there's nothing I'd love more. So it really is all going to depend on how the next couple months go and everyone getting their vaccines and hopefully, you know, um, easier way to access vaccines, but I'm not here to talk about healthcare. Um, well, you know what, Vinny, <laughs> let me ask. So I have a question for you because one of the, que yeah. you know, I, even though scan is no longer um, doing the art, uh, the senior art show, we still get a lot of phone calls because people still associate us with it. Now, one of the very common questions last year was because it was virtual uh, it's it's about how do you submit? You know, that makes a whole different situation where obviously we're not dropping anything off. So please just kind of talk about that for people who are considering this. Yeah, absolutely. So um, the, you know, it's funny when we started doing this show, um, I, you know, I might've had some preconceived notions about, you know, what how far can I take this? You know, are digital <laughs> applications possible? Can I email seniors? Um, and, you know, I was surprised to learn that, you know, I, I underestimated the senior community in Monmouth County. I mean, we <laughs> are, uh, I was, you know, day one applications opened and suddenly, you know, it, it's funny, when we're physical, right? The day applications open, I usually try to have everything in the mail the, the Friday before we open on a Monday. So I try to make sure applications go out on the Friday before. The Monday I come into the office, the mailman is struggling to carry in all these applications. <laughs> Right. So I'm thinking digital, I'll get one or two day one. And I opened my email and there's, you know, 45 applications that came in on that Monday. Well, that's so, awesome. Yeah. So I was, I was pleasantly surprised, but of course, you know, not everyone is so tech savvy and, you know, we're all, it's kind of like, you know, when this pandemic started, it was all of a sudden a huge learning curve and then you're thrown at all of this information and how do I possibly learn how to do it all? So we try to make it as easy as possible. Um, and I am very uh, eager to assist anyone in whatever way I can. So the basis of how the application works is it's just a link that you'll get in an email if you participated in the previous years and provided me with an email address. Otherwise, you'll still get a letter in the mail. And in, that, in this link, you'll go ahead and click it and um, you'll, it'll bring you to the application. You'll fill out your basic information, your name, your, your address, your contact info. And then um, they'll come to a part where you'll upload your work. Now, this is the tricky part because you can't just upload any old picture, right? So right. this is a digital mm -hmm. show. And actually, uh, I wanna take a moment and show you the actual senior art show. So let me just back up for a minute. And I'm going to take you to the uh, to the digital show, so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So you know what, Finney? After a year like 2020, I think it's fair to say a lot of seniors got even more tech savvy. Many more people became tech savvy because we had to. You had to. What other option was there? You know. Yeah, was there was no swim, option. You know, it was sink or swim. So <laughs> I am. I like I said. You know, I was so thrilled to see the amount of participation that kind of was without, you know, without impetus that it just, it just happened. Um, I thought for sure I was going to have a harder time reaching seniors because at the time, you know, think back to June when applications opened, there were still all these questions floating around. Like, right. is it late to open your mail? Is it, you know, like, and isn't that crazy to think about, you know? Just, well, you're, I forgot about that. You're yeah. absolutely right. Ugh. Six or seven months ago, you know, there was this giant concern about can coronavirus travel through the mail? Through the mail. And, you know, I, 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 I am someone who, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm a very anxious person and I'm sitting in my office and I'm, you know, putting pamphlets and envelopes and, and getting ready to mail all this out. 
and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, like, should I have gotten tested before I stuffed envelopes? <laughs> should I, <laughs> you know, should I, and you know, it was, it was definitely a weird thing to happen. And it's going to be crazy when I, you know, tell my children about it someday, but you know, it's, uh, it's definitely, um, it was a concern. And so, you know, I, I, I'm just overall, you know, very impressed with the Good. That's good to hear. But we certainly- I'm, I'm impressed with the quality of these photographs they sent. Oh yeah, and don't don't get me wrong. I mean, I like to think of myself as somewhat of a you know a fixer. So mm-hmm. even when things weren't perfect, I mm-hmm. stepped in and tried to assist in whatever way I can, whether that's cropping or lightening images digitally, so that way they wouldn't be so affected. Um, you know, whatever, however I could participate. But you'll yeah. see some of this work. You know, it's 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 so well cropped. You can't see where my hands are putting, but the it's so well cropped, and you can see very clearly the outline of the work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and ultimately, you know, I would say 90% of every image I got needed very little editing, um, other than, you know, minor crops. Right. Um, so, you know, the big key here is getting a good photograph of your work. And thankfully there are a number of, um, YouTube videos that are out there that kind of demonstrate the best way to photograph your work. And I did my best to come up with a description, but more or less the key is to find a really well lit area that you'll be able to, um, you know, get a really clear shot, holding your camera steady. If, if, and if possible, having a tripod or at least holding your, your phone on Mm -hmm. something. And when I say camera, I'm not talking about a big bulky camera. It could be your phone. Yeah. Your iPhone. Yeah. Yeah. uh, and and uh, bef- I only got this phone. This is the newest iPhone. But before this, I had an iPhone 8, you know, which is about five or so years old. So it's an older phone. And I was still able to be able to get clear pictures because even so, it, it did the job it needed to. So no matter what type of, um, and no matter what type of, you know, phone you have, you should be able to get a really clear shot. The tricky part actually comes in after you get the photograph in is how do you get your image from your phone to your computer or into this app? Yeah, that is the tricky part. And so, um, you know- That's when, when you call Vinny. That's when you call me, that's right. So if I had a dollar for every phone call, I could probably quit this job. But, you know, <laughs> I think I think the, the thing is, is I, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty tech savvy. So I'm able to help, help you walk through it. And luckily a lot of our seniors have really, you know, attentive family members who were able to kind of help them through the process. Good. Our Good. seniors who live in, you know, assisted living communities, um, they were even able to get help from, you know, local staff at the at the facilities they were in. So all in all, there was a big community effort, and, and I, I at least I felt like it seemed that no one was really left behind. Um, we had seniors who called the moment we, you know, went virtual, who were very concerned immediately. They were like, "I don't even have a computer. How am I going to do this?" And you know, in one case, I, I literally drove to someone's house who left their, their painting outside of their front door and I took the picture myself. That's sweet. Uh, but, you know, I, the good thing is it's only countywide, so it's not like I'm traveling. Right. Which, which <laughs> in direction. Right. You know, I probably would give up if we were, if I had to travel to like, you know, Atlantic City. But, you know, I think it's, um, it, the thing was here is that we were all kind of going through this together. And, uh, you know, for a lot of people, this is their one, art is their one escape. And it's, and for, you know, as long as art has been around, art has been used as a way to kind of, you know, it, it's therapy, it's, ther- it's therapeutic. And, and this is your escape from the actual craziness that was happening back in June, July, and August. Not that it still isn't crazy, but, you know, thinking back then, we're only a couple months into the pandemic with so much unknown and information coming at us left and right. And, it was really important that, you know, I make this happen whatever way I could do it. And mm-hmm. so if that meant driving to someone's house and taking a picture, it, that's what it means. And so the same will go for this year. I mean, if you need help, please, please, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at Mama Hearts. We're more than thrilled to help you figure it out. Now, you know, hopefully I'm not, you know, driving to every home here, but I'd be happy to get on a phone call and kind of talk you through the upload process. I'll, I'll sit with you while you, you know, virtually while you fill out your application. Um, you know, there are cases where we, we sent out some paper applications and, you know, I just took those paper applications and then they said, Oh, but I can figure out how to attach the image to an email. And then that worked. And, mm-hmm. you know, we, we, we're, we're not, you know, 
to the bone here. We're, we're very flexible. So at the end of the day, if you want to submit for the show, I will get you submitted for the show and that's guaranteed. So there's- All right. You heard uh, it from Vinny. Yeah. Vinny, you got a nice compliment just now. You know, Tara Collins, she said, you're the best. Oh, thank you so much, Tara. Thank you so much. It's, I, I remember her from a, um, from a Mammoth Arts event. I think she was at our art walk back in Asbury Park. Yeah. So it's good to, good to see that you're here, Tara. And she's, uh, next, she's next month's uh, creative conversation. She's going to be oh, wow. doing a demo on uh, art journaling. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Well, I'll have to tune in for you, Tara, since you tuned in for me here. Uh, <laughs> but it's good to see you. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, the, the big thing here is that in the arts community, Monmouth County, we're not, it's not super competitive. I mean, it's competitive in some senses, but we're here to help each other out. Um, and I find, I find that very unique to, to Monmouth County's arts community. You know, in other places, if you're in, you know, more urban areas, it can be a little more dare I say, like cutthroat. But here, you know, this is for me, it's it's about the community. And so, and for Mammoth Arts, that's that's kind of, you know, that's our whole mission. So if you need, you know, assistance in any way, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're determined to kind of make this work for everyone. So um, I'm gonna just lean back here to some photos. So again, I just showed you the show. Um, I also actually wanted to show you this. So this is the state show. So the way that, so for those who are unfamiliar with the senior art show, um, you know, any, like I said, anyone can enter. Um, it's, uh, it runs from July through August. And in a physical, um, in a physical world, right? The show is held at the Monmouth County Library. When we're at the library, we have to limit it to a hundred participants, but when we're virtual, it can kind of go beyond that. Um, what happens this year remains to be seen, as I said, but, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it, there is a high, you know, we get a lot of volume for this show. So it's not competitive in the sense that, you know, I'm picking or jurying the best, you know, submissions that we get, but it's quite literally just get that application in the moment the show opens and, um, and, and you're in. Um, and after a hundred, we have a little bit of a waiting list because there's always people who can't get it in on mm -hmm. time or can't get it in. Um, the reason we have to limit it is because of this just space, you know, there's not enough space to exhibit every work. Um, and then at the senior art show, um, the, from the hundred works, there is a uh, series of jurors who will jury all the works and um, they'll pick the top three in each category. There are 11 different art disciplines um, or arts genres, I'll say that we kind of select work in. So photography, um, uh, paint, uh, acrylic, oil, uh, print, sculpture, and beyond, um, you, you name it, we have it, mixed media. And then within those categories, there's professional and non-professional. So altogether, it comes out to 22 different categories. And from the, each, in each of those 22, we get a first place winner, a second place winner, a third place winner, and then honorable mentions. All of those first place winners then go on to the state senior art show, which I have up here. And you can see that they have a, a different kind of gallery, but they have another type of gallery here. And then this year, because Monmouth County has the most talented artists in the state, if I say so myself, <laughs> um, we took home more awards this year than any other county and the most awards we've ever taken home. We had Really? Eight, That's awesome. Or did. We had 18 award winners this year at the state oh. senior art show or excuse me, 13 of the 18 we sent. We only sent 18 because there are always some categories that don't have um, participants. Um, but from those 18 people we sent, 13 received awards. And of that, five of them were first or second place awards. So we, we cleaned up real well. Um, and I'm super proud of everyone who participated. It was really a fun event. Um, you can see here that when we're in person, um, you know, we have a really fun reception at the library. Um, you can come in and take photos with your work. The um, county commissioners now, I almost said freeholders, but the county commissioners, they come in um, and do some, uh, and do a little speaking and they'll meet with everyone. This, the county commissioners love to come in and take pictures with the artists and their work. It's something that the county looks forward to every year. And it's kind of a big to do. Um, the, the head of the library comes in and we have, a, we have a big event and it's a lot of fun. So um, I do hope that if you're a visual artist, you will consider participating in the Senior Art Show if you're of age. Um, and if you need any information on that, I'm sure that on Andrea will share my information. I so will. Out and get yourself there and I'll get you on my mailing list. So this year, just so you know, the show will start 
um, at taking applications in June. The date hasn't been set yet. We'll probably take applications through the end of June. And then the show, um, if it's physical, we'll, we'll do intake at the library at the end of July and the show will run through August um, and come down at the beginning of September or late August. Um, you know, Vinny, let me share a comment from one of our uh, participants. It says that the Notes app on the iPhone allows you to scan documents and photos and you can email the scan doc or photo right from your phone. So that might be one way for folks to uh, submit their work. It sure is. And you know, what's great about that, that little tool. Thank you. I guess it's Uma who sent Uma. that. Yeah, um, thank you. you know, I, and another great part of that is that when you go to take that scan on your phone it, it brings up these little dots with lines and you can line it up so that way you get the image cropped just the way we're asking for it which is wow. you know as you can see in these images here you know it can totally include the frame like in this oil painting on the right over here um you know i've cropped it so it includes the frame and there's some good lighting and then on the left you can see that i've taken this work and we we cropped out that frame um because the frame wasn't the, the, the artist chose to crop out that frame rather because they didn't, I guess, appreciate the frame or the frame wasn't best. A framing doesn't really come into account in terms of judging for the senior art show. We understand that everyone has different means. And so some people might be able to pay $100 and have some extravagant frame and others might not. Um, and that's, so that's not taken into account when we judge. But of course, for your personal, you know, presentation, however you want to present it, you can choose to keep the frame in your photo or cut it out. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that's a little bit about the senior art show. Um, again, questions, feel free to direct them to me. I promise you that no matter what, we'll get you through the process. <laughs> uh, that's the big deal. I, there's no, you know, don't feel the need, don't get stressed out about it. There's no need to be stressed out about it because I will walk you through step by step or I'll, you know, do it for you one way or the other. So feel free to reach out on that. Um, and then I do want to talk a little bit about performing arts stuff too. So um, outside of, of the programs, we also have local organizations, right? So for us, local organizations are the lifeblood of, you know, what we do and the work that we do. Of course, we're one small organization here at Mammoth Arts. There's only you know, three full-time staff members here, and we kind of do the work of, you know, a hundred people. So, um, you know, I personally manage two, everyone manages at least two departments um, single-handedly. So it's kind of, you know, it's a huge course load. Um, and so, you know, we rely on the work of others who we, you know, grant funds to and member groups to kind of do that work for us. So um, I'm going to talk about some visual arts organizations and some performing arts organizations. And I, evidently, I put visual arts first. So there's guilds, alliances, societies, and local arts councils. These are important organizations that will kind of help you get a foot in the door. And they're not solely for professionals. A lot of these are very much for just members of the community um, who want to get involved in the arts. Um, the two I've listed here are two member groups of ours, the um, Guild of Creative Art, which is based in Shrewsbury, um, and the Art Society of Monmouth County, which uh, doesn't have their own location. They kind of just work out of a, you know, out of cyberspace and email and, and mail. Um, but basically these are both organizations who um, who are here to support artists. There are other visual arts organizations like the Art Alliance of Monmouth County, of course, um, is another great one, um, who uh, support local visual artists. So um, here I'll show you some photos. This is the Guild of Creative Art. This is the Art Alliance. This is the Atlantic Highlands Art Council. Um, art councils are really great. I mean, we ourselves, Mammoth Arts, are an arts council, but we're the county arts council. A lot of local um, localities, they also have their individual arts councils, like Atlantic Highlands. The Keyport has the Art Society of Keyport. Highlands has an arts council. Asbury Park has an arts council. Um, so does Freeholds. So there are a number of different ways to get involved. And if your town has a local arts council, certainly that's a great place to reach out. Um, and if you don't know if your town has a local arts council, that's a great time to reach out to Mammoth Arts because we'll be happy to point you in that direction. Local Vinny, arts councils. A question, Vinny, in the COVID world mm -hmm. that we're still living in, are these organizations still uh, having art exhibits for folks? 
In some capacities, some of them are, yes. Um, a lot of them are doing a sort of hybrid situation where the works are both in person and online. Okay. When there are physical shows, it's usually by appointment or there's very limited viewing hours. So you have to RSVP in advance online. Um, there, I know that Atlanta Collins Art Council right now has a great show, Art in the Age of COVID. Um, <laughs> so how appropriate, right, for that question. Um, and they do have a physical show. A lot of them still have openings, like the Monmouth Museum still has openings. Um, those openings, again, they're RSVP. They're usually, you know, you, you get like an hour slot to walk around and view the work. And um, oh, would you look at that? Tara mentioned that tonight, Atlantic yeah. has a virtual art opening. I just saw that. Um, thank you, so, Tara. Yes, thank you, Tara. Um, so like I said, a lot of these places do have you know, hybrid, you know, hybrid situations happening. Um, the, in, a, in a normal world, these organizations are typically, you know, booming, you know, it's yeah, like they're... art, it's, it's, it's very, you know, getting an art exhibit for, if you're a local artist, you know, to have your own exhibit, it can take, you know, a little over a year to kind of book that space, but, um, or to get involved in a show. And, you know, these organizations are really helpful, like the guilds or the Art Alliance, because they kind of host these group shows, um, which is another great way to get involved. Um, so there's plenty of different opportunities for visual artists to kind of break into this. If you're just a, you know, someone living in the community, you might, you know, be painting recreationally. Um, you might, you know, be a little more advanced. You've always done it and now you're retired and you're kind of returning to what you do best. Um, these opportunities are also always listed on Mammoth Arts free newsletter. Um, we send out an e-blast e newsletter every other week um, called Get Out, Get Art. Um, and that has some opportunities, um, as well as art ops, which is sent in the other weeks that we don't send Get Out, Get Art. And those are all the current artist openings. Um, so, you know, there are, um, you can reach out to these organizations directly. You can head to their websites and I will share those websites with Andrea once this is done. So she can go ahead and share them with all of you. Um, they post about their openings. Um, so that way you can kind of, you know, go to their website and find out when they're taking applications applications. Certainly follow them all on social media if you use social media at all. Um, they usually post on Facebook and Instagram if you're a user of those services. Um, so definitely worth checking out. I always recommend going to local arts councils first though because it's the most direct way for you to get involved. Um, and then usually through your local arts council that's how you kind of meet these folks from the Art Alliance and the Guild of Creative Art. Um, and I think that Tara also just shared a link to that virtual art opening. Right. To, um, so maybe if we can share that to the attendees too, that would be, that would be cool. Vinny, I have um, a question that comes up by individual artists. It's a, it's a two part. They're always looking for grants for individual artists. Would that be on Art Ops mostly? Is that a best place to look for that? Is what Art Ops would be the best place to look for that. <laughs> However, um, yep. that's, if, if you're a professional artist and you are working primarily as an artist, it's, it's your primary, you know, art, um, your primary career, yep. uh, you can certainly apply for fellowships from the New Jersey State Council on the Arts. They just announced their 2021 fellowships. However, um, I'm sure in the coming months, we'll start to see applications open for the 2022 fellowships. Um, everything's a little delayed this year because yep. of obvious reasons. Um, so, uh, there are those as well as an opportunity that has not, we just announced at our annual meeting last week, but, um, in the coming month, Mammoth Arts will announce a new opportunity to grant individual artists, oh, wow. um, with grants, um, who have been affected by the COVID pandemic. Wow. So if you are an artist who has lost income as a result of the pandemic at all in the last year and a half. Um, there will be a artist grant for individuals that Mammoth Arts will offer um, in the near future. I can't give you too many details yet because yeah. we're still kind of ironing out the guidelines and, and you know, et cetera. However, this is the first time that we're offering individual artist grants. That's great. That is really in great. And the history of Mammoth Arts. Mm -hmm. So I'm super excited about it. Um, Good. The other and part of, that, of course, I'll share that information with Donna. When the yeah, time. I'm so glad. I'm glad I asked it. And the other part that individual artists ask also is about art space in the area that they can rent or sublet from people so that it's not so expensive. Do you have any handle on that? 
Yeah, so I guess it really depends on how big you want to go. Um, certainly, there are organizations that, you know, lease their space. For example, um, one such space is uh, Shashama in Matawan. You can kind of rent a studio there. Um, and then if you're a studio resident, you are eligible to participate in shows as well as, you know, book the space for your own show. Um, another such um, group, uh, in Long Branch would be 10 PRL. They are just a kind of a multidisciplinary space. Mammoth Arts just hosted a member exhibit there. Um, maybe some of you might have participated in that. Um, a lot of our senior um, artists actually did participate in our member exhibit, which was super fun. Um, but that was hosted at 10 PRL a couple of months ago. Maybe maybe it was a month ago. Time is a construct right now. Um, but you know, it's a um, it's it's a, it's a much bigger space. But there's kind of a small space and a bigger space, um, and it's a unique space because there's kind of it's multidisciplinary you can rent it out for you know anything from filming a music video to hosting an event to making it an art space okay. um, that's 10 prl in long branch that's another really great one um and then there's one more um in red bank and i'm trying to i think it's gallery gallery 217 maybe that was the name of it um I know which one that is. Yeah, I, I, I can't remember the exact name off the top of my head, mm -hmm. but they're a gallery that does do, um, that does do uh, renting as well. So you can rent the space and host your own show there. Right. Um, so when I remember the name of it, I will certainly pass it along for- Thank you for uh, sharing. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there are spaces like that for sure. Um, however, I, I should note that if you are someone who's maybe never hosted a show of your own before, your first step should definitely be get involved in a group exhibit. Mom of Arts hosts at least one group exhibit a year. Um, our member exhibit, which is hosted at different locations throughout the county. We've hosted it at the Spring Lake Community House and Theater. We've hosted it at 10 PRL. We've hosted it at the Bungalow Hotel in Long Branch. Um, we are, I can't, I'm not really, uh, maybe I can say this now. We're planning on hosting our member exhibit for 2021 at the Pollock Theater in, at Monmouth University. Um, so we have a lot of different ways that you can exhibit with us. And then we'll also point you to all the other ways you can. The biggest thing I could say is, to, and I'll talk about this more later, become a member of Monmouth Arts and you'll get access to every single art opportunity that happens in this county. Um, everything pretty much comes through us and we post it all in a condensed newsletter of just opportunities. So gallery openings, auditions, um, jobs, if you're, seek, if you're a job seeker, um, all that information is listed in Art Ops and you'll be able to find that there. Grant opportunities. Um, so certainly you know, consider becoming a member. Um, and you'll kind of get an end to all of that. But the other way you can do this is there are lists of visual arts organizations right on our website. So if you were to, let me just show you, head to the Monmouth Arts website and go to our um, member page, scroll down. You can see a list of every single member of Monmouth Arts and you can go ahead and click on them. So for example, I'll right now just click on the Art Alliance in Monmouth County. And it'll bring me right to the Art Alliance's page, show me their exhibition schedule. Um, and right here, look, there's a non-juried members only exhibit. So you'd have to be a member of the Art Alliance for this one. And you can go ahead, it's in, well, this was an older, they should probably update their page. So it's a bad example right now, but you can go ahead and download a form and get ready to submit. So there are different ways that you can get involved with these organizations. Mammoth Arts totally can be used as a resource and a hub for all of this information. Um, Can you show them the events page? Time oh, yes. Posting an event, you know I'm always... <laughs> <laughs> yes, Donna is our number one event poster. Um, so another great tool of Mammoth Arts is our event calendar. This is used by all of our members for the most part. Um, you head right to the event calendar and it's a countywide listing of events happening. So today is February 4th. So I can see that here there is an exhibit going on at uh, Belmar Arts Center. There. There's yours up there on the upper right. Yeah. And here I am right here, right? So I can see this is happening right now today. Um, History of Motown virtual event happening here. Um, I can see at the Jewish Heritage Museum, there's a virtual film festival. 
Um, we have an Art Alliance virtual summer exhibit happening at the uh, Art Alliance. Um, so you can see that this is a great way for you to kind of get involved and, you know, head to other artists' um, shows. And that's another thing I would point out. Networking is super big in the arts community. So, you know, another great thing to do is just go, go to other openings, go to openings for shows that you're maybe not in, but just to meet other artists. Um, you know, networking is huge. In a not COVID world, Mammoth Arts hosts networking events throughout the year where artists just mingle together, usually in an artistic space. Um, we have cocktails and wine and we kind of just chit chat and, you know, talk a little bit about Mammoth Arts, but there are free events just to get artists together in the same room, you know, and, um, you know, kind of start conversations. So um, certainly head to gallery openings, come to Mammoth Arts networking events, um, talk to other artists, talk to me. I'll be happy to point you in the right direction. Um, I am not a visual artist myself. I am a performing artist, as Donna mentioned way at the beginning. So, you know, I- um, Where are you performing I, and what have you been doing? <laughs> what am I doing? So I will say since the pandemic, the pandemic affects performers a little yes. differently. Um, you know, singing is a very easy way to spread the virus. Um, you know, I'll, I won't get into the science of it, but, you know, just the sheer amount of force and air that's required to sing, um, you know, it certainly is, it makes for a dangerous environment for spreading the, um, the, the virus. So uh, they've created these kind of cool masks that are supposed to make it easier to sing into. They make you look like a platypus. Um, they're kind of wild. I don't, they're not really comfortable for me. Um, I just took my first gig back singing um, a, at Christmas time. I did my church gig. So I have a gig singing for a church um, every Sunday. Um, but I started back with just kind of seasonal gigs for now when things are back up and running. Um, hopefully I'll be able to have a recital soon. Um, so I'll- just Keep us informed? Yeah, absolutely, of Great. course. Good. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's different for performing artists too. And I do wanna go into that before we running out of time here. So let me just talk a little bit about performing arts as well. Um, so uh, there are lots of performing arts organizations in the county. Um, some of them are community theaters, choirs, orchestras. Um, examples include Phoenix, Mama Civic Chorus, the Mama Symphony Orchestra. Phoenix Theater Company is a community theater company. Anyone can be a part of it. It's free to be a part of Phoenix Theater Company. They have about four shows a year. They, they are produced at the Count Basie Theater. Um, it's very easy to get involved with them. You just kind of show up to one of their auditions. All of their auditions are again posted in that Art Ops newsletter that I mentioned before. Um, so you can certainly check that out. You can also go right to their website and check it out. Um, Mammoth Civic Chorus has auditions, I think, twice a year. So they have them in the spring and in the fall. Um, you can get involved with them. They do their concerts all across Monmouth County and beyond. Um, as well as the Monmouth Symphony Orchestra. They perform, I think, statewide as well. But these are all organizations that you can get involved in and audition for. Um, I'll show you some photos here. So you can see this is a picture from a Phoenix production show at the Basie. Um, and I think that Monmouth Civic Orchestra um, and Monmouth Civic Chorus both of those are also at the Basie. Um, but, you know, there are a number of ways to get involved with these organizations. You can go to their auditions. They happen multiple times a year. Um, find a way to, you know, kind of break the ice with them. If you're not a performer, but have always had an enthusiasm for the performing arts, um, Phoenix and, um, and usually these other organizations too are always looking for people to, you know, help decorate sets um stage managers um and other you know positions within the within the organization um you know maybe music directors directors um costume designers so there are you know more than just the actual performing there's plenty of artistic ways to still get involved with performing arts organizations uh monmouth arts is uh mem you know many of them are, are members of monmouth arts so uh, you can head right to our website in that same place i mentioned before and you'll see a listing of all of our affiliates and how to get involved. And you can click the links, click right on their names. It'll bring you to their webpage and it'll tell you right there how to get involved. Um, and I wanna end with education and classes. So, uh, you know, for those who maybe are, you know, you, you've retired now and you're, you've always kind of, you know, think you've really liked painting and you wanna get involved or learn more, or maybe you've always wanted to sing and you're, you've decided that you wanna start taking classes, 
um, this, you know, this is for you. So um, I'll start with our youth programming um, in case there are any, you know, parents or grandparents or youth who are watching. Um, there are a number of different youth programs that are out there for uh, young people who are looking for performing arts classes. Um, the first I have up here is Count Basie Center Performing Arts Academy. They're in Red Bank. Um, they offer um, uh, classes in uh, performing arts. Um, there's Inspired Minds Fine Arts School. Um, they offer classes in visual arts for youth and adults. They're in Lincroft and Brielle, so two different parts of the county. Um, Ani Art Academy is in Red Bank. They're a visual arts school. Um, the Axelrod Contemporary Ballet Theater offers ballet classes for youth. Jersey Shore Art Center is really exciting. They've, they're in an old school building and they've, um, it's a performing arts space, but they have tons of classrooms that are now hosting tons of classes throughout the year. So certainly in both visual arts and performing arts. So they're definitely worth looking into. They're right in Ocean Grove, right on Main Street, leaving Asbury Park. Um, Around the Corner Art Center, um, they are actually not a member of Mammoth Arts, but they're in Freehold in Morganville, and my niece happens to take art classes there. So um, <laughs> I, I definitely wanted to plug them. Um, but they're a great program too. And actually, the woman who owns Around the Corner Art Center was a participant and a winner at the Senior Art Show for Mammoth County last year. So nice little connect there. Um, the Mammoth County Park System totally a resource that people um, don't realize is out there. But the Mom County um, Park System offers tons of classes in uh, different art forms. So you should head to their website, check out their you know listing of classes. Um, they're usually hosted at Thompson Park in Middletown, but I think they also host classes at other parks. And then the Rocket Live Foundation, they are a contemporary music um, program that teaches youth how to, you know, be rock stars. Um, they produce the coolest shows I've ever seen in my life. You'd think you're watching Led Zeppelin, but it's really just a 13-year-old with a guitar. Um, so something you should definitely look into. And then our adult classes, there's a lot of ways to get involved as an adult. Um, I mentioned the uh, Guild of Creative Art and the Mama County Park System and around the corner art center. They all have adult classes as well as youth classes. The Count Basie Center offers adult performing arts classes. Um, if you're looking to just kind of take a class, maybe here and there, you're not really looking for, you know, uh, structured instruction. A great thing to do is actually the life model drawing classes at Art 629 in Asbury Park. They kind of have these paint and sip situations, but it's not really paint and sip like Pino's palette kind of thing where you're painting by the number. It's kind of a situation where you go in, you pour yourself a glass of wine, they have a live model who will pose and you can just go there and they'll provide you with the materials that you need, you pay a small fee and they'll give you everything you need and you just kind of go there and, and model draw. Um, I am not an artist and I've done this class and it was super fun and relaxing and a cool thing to do on like a Thursday night um, pre-COVID. So something to think about. Um, local senior centers, I guarantee you that almost, you know, most if not all of our local senior centers have some type of arts instruction happening. Um, I'm sure many of you might know them. I encourage you to participate in those programs. Many of those people are those who succeed and do very well at the Monmouth County Senior Art Show. Um, and of course, color chips, uh, definitely Donna. Donna, you know, she teaches some of the greatest senior artists we have um, at the Senior Art Show. You know, uh, and seven awards in the, in the uh, Senior Show. Say that again. Students. Se seven of the students of color chips received awards in your your show last summer well would you look at that that's awesome that's, yeah that is awesome and that's all donna donna really is wonderful and she seriously cares about all of her students so i i i have to shamelessly plug her too because she, <laughs> she really is great Thank so you. um certainly you know reach out to her if you're looking for a good cl art class for seniors um and I just want to end with, um, you know, Mammoth Arts, it's super important um, that we, you know, continue our mission of connecting community members to the arts. The easiest way to do that for you is to become a member. And lucky for all of you, it is a membership month right now at Mammoth Arts. So we're offering $10 off of all new memberships. So that means it's only $30 to become a member if you're an artist um, for the year. Um, the uh, membership includes so much, like being able to participate in all of our shows, getting that um, newsletter that I mentioned before, Art Ops. Get Out, Get Art is open to everyone, but Art Ops is only for individuals who are members of Mammoth Arts. Um, 
And of course, the ability to participate in all of our member shows. So you can potentially host your own show at Artspace 105, which is our micro gallery at the Mammoth Arts office in Red Bank. We also have a group show every year. Um, and uh, you get a listing on our artist registry, which is right on our webpage. So something to think about, um, definitely consider it. The prices that are up here don't reflect the $10 off. So that means, you know, artist membership is only $30 and art supporter membership is only 40. Um, and then you can join your whole family for 50 bucks this month. So definitely. You know, a- Vinny, I'm not sure if you mentioned this earlier, but we absolutely have to mention it now that it's 50 years that Mammoth Arts has been around, which I, which is fantastic. So we definitely have to acknowledge that 50 years, that that's a big deal. It is a big deal. That's we a have very been doing big this deal. 1971. So, um, you know, back in the, the 1970s, Mammoth Arts was a bit of a different organization. We sure we had our member groups and we can, you know, our mission was still the same. But on top of all that, we were also the owners of the Mammoth Arts Center, um, which some of you might remember before it later became the Count Basie Theater. So, oh my uh, God. you know, it was, a, uh, it was an undertaking. We had that uh, theater until 1999 when we diverged with the Count Basie Theater and the Count Basie Theater became the Count Basie Theater and we became Mammoth Arts. So um, yeah, 50 years. And we're, we are celebrating 50 years with some really exciting things. We have our 50th anniversary gala happening right at home at the Count Basie Center for the Arts, um, which is the fancy new name for the Count Basie Theater because they have two new buildings. Um, that's going to be really fun. We're going to have a big celebrity um, guest. I, I don't know who it's going to be yet, but I know it's going to be big. Um, we also were going to be doing a membership showcase and art exhibition at Monmouth University at the Pollock Theater, which I mentioned earlier. Um, so definitely now's the time to be a member. It's going to be our biggest member show yet. Um, and it's going to be held in conjunction with a showcase in the theater um, of local arts organizations uh, performing groups. So, you know, that's going to be really exciting. We've never done a membership showcase like this um, before. It'll be the first one ever. And, you know, there's no better way to celebrate 50 years than by celebrating our members. So something to look at there. And another thing I mentioned before was that um, intermediary artist grant I talked about. That'll be a grant that's opened um, in the coming, hopefully, weeks. Um, that'll be open to any artist working in Monmouth County, um, specifically those who might have lost um, uh, income due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So uh, we'll be releasing more information on that project soon. So stay tuned for that. Okay. Um, and yeah, you know, we're happy to be celebrating 50 years of doing what we do, so. Congratulations. Have yeah. you mentioned where you're located, where your office is? Did I miss that? I don't think I did, but we are located right in Red Bank. We are actually in the Count Basie uh, Center for the Arts offices. So we are in a, in a street level location. So if you're going up to the Count Basie, we're right next to the box office. Um, and uh, our offices are, we're, we're all working there. And we also have our micro gallery space there. Um, and um, yeah, so we're, we're right in Red Bank, kind of centrally located in the county, easy to get to right on Monmouth Street across from the police station. Well, reminding everyone, uh, in fact, Donna, let's let's come back because we're just about out of time. Vinny, you want to, can you stop sharing? Yeah, I sure can. I mean, there we go. Okay. Um, that was great, Vinny. Very informative and uh, encouraging. Very beautiful. Thank you. So again, everyone, I'm going to have uh, all Vinny's contact info. Uh, we'll send that all out for you. And Vinny's going to send me some additional contact info. We'll send that out for you. And um, I think Mammoth Arts is just a fantastic organization. And the fact that you've been around for 50 years, well, that says a lot. I, I think that Mammoth County is truly blessed with a lot of uh, wonderful art opportunities for all, because what fun is an artist? What fun is it if you can't put your stuff out there, right? That's right, so that's we right. Are, we are lucky, we are very, very lucky. Um, you know what, Donna, you want to uh, give us some coming attractions? As I mentioned before, Tara Collins, she's an uh, art journaling artist and more mixed media. I just saw some of her artwork that wasn't art journaling, but mixed media, I think. And she's doing a demo and a discussion. That'll be in March. Our April artist will be, she is an artist. Her name is Donna Steinhorn. She's also a personal, tra- um, a personal coach, a life coach. And she's going to be talking about art and well-being. So uh, something Vinny touched on a little bit when you said yeah, that. for sure. 
Mm-hmm. I think art is very much tied to your well-being. And I think it's one of those essential things that everybody needs it. But I think if you're with us today, you already know that, right? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm looking through the attendees now for the first time and I'm seeing a bunch of familiar familiar faces. I see Susan Penn's here and yep. Michelle Rath yep. and let's see, Linda Alston. Good to see you, Linda. So yeah, there's there's some familiar faces here. So you guys know all about that senior art show. And feel free to share that information with you know all of your friends and let them know about you know ways to get involved. Yeah. I see we have one new message. Let me just see if oh yeah. thank okay, thank you. Well, you know what, Vinny, that this was really terrific. And I th- I really one thing I definitely want to remind everyone, I, I if you didn't figure this out already, but going to the website for Monmouth Arts is, is kind of like your whole umbrella for everything that's going on in the county. And, you know, one, one place has it all. And I, I think, you know, nobody asked me to say this, but I'm going to say it. The opportunities now with the membership level for 30 bucks to, be, to become an artist membership, that's a good deal. I didn't even pay her to say that. No, no, you didn't, <laughs> but that's a, that's a good deal. Isn't it? Definitely. You know, because and- you want to be in the know. Yeah, absolutely. And there's no better year to do it than this year. Honestly, we're, I'm telling you, this is going to be the busiest year we've ever had more opportunities than ever. Um, So you've certainly, you know, if you've been hesitating before, for whatever reason, this is the year to do it, become a member. um, And you know, you won't regret it. It's really, I uh, see the gala is uh, scheduled for September. So that gives us some time because yeah, I did that on purpose, you know. No, uh, we, yeah. we, we want to give us as much time as possible to be able to do a big celebration. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. we're, you know, in my perfect world I built, we can have 1,200 people in the Basie in September. So who knows? Well, I hope we uh, can enter your perfect world. You know? Yeah, I hope so too. I hope so too. It'd be nice. Well, Vinny Martini, thank you very much for being our guest today. It was an absolute pleasure. I think we all learned a lot. And, um, I think we also know there's still lots to learn, right? Yeah, absolutely. And thank you so much, Andrea and Donna, for Our letting pleasure. me here and talk about the exciting things that are going on. And um, I look forward to seeing some new faces get involved with Mammoth Arts and I what we have going will, on. Vinny. I think you will. Thank awesome. you. So everyone, I've been recording. You're going to get an email from me in a day or two. Lots of info. And once again, thank you very much for being with us. You know. Artists love artists. Yes, we do. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll say goodbye to everyone and we'll see you all in March. Yes, we will. Okay. Stay warm and dry, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye.